right, so we uh, we have a 50th anniversary Cobra Jet here. We come around here, that 14 liter super Cobra Jet. So this is what we're gonna do the swap on. We're gonna pull this engine out. We're gonna stick it in there. Oh, what a week. What a week. For those of you who have been watching these videos of me and my wife uh, trying to purchase our new Ford Bronco, uh, it has been uh, a little bit challenging. Uh, but I think that that's probably been the case for most people. I know some people probably just, uh, you know, got in with their dealer and, and got it knocked out and you're done. And, and some of you probably have not had the opportunity to, to, uh, to place your order yet. Uh, there are also probably some of you who are like, you know what, I'm just going to wait on a 2022. Um, and in that case, from what I know, your reservation will be held for a 2022 at that point. So you'll still be in line uh, for a 2022. And I know I heard there's some uh, possibly some color changes that are happening uh, for next year and, and some new models that are coming out for next year. And then obviously anything that was wrong with the 2021s, they'll probably fix for the 2022s. We decided to throw caution to the wind and uh and go for it and get our bronco we are obviously huge bronco fans uh for those of you who watch this videos uh we are in the middle of re restoring two uh early broncos 1973 and in 1974 and uh one is going to be for my wife mandy and one is going to be for myself but at the end of the day we got our order in and at that point uh we not only were able to make contact with our dealer uh, but we also went down to the dealership yesterday and we looked at the color that we chose in person on another vehicle and we looked at and we drove uh, a vehicle with the 2.7 EcoBoost that's going to be going in the Bronco as well because we've never driven that. Uh, and we're going to be showing those here uh, after we show the build. We're going to go in and we're going to show you the color uh, at the dealership and then also kind of our drive on that 2.7 and our thoughts on that. So there's a lot packed into this episode. Uh, so if you are purchasing a Bronco uh, or if you have intentions of purchasing a Bronco, this should be hopefully good uh, value for you. Um, if you're not purchasing a Bronco but you're interested in it or even you, you have early Broncos, um, it's going to be fun to see what happens with this new Bronco and what happens to the uh, classic Broncos once the new Broncos hit the market. So let me show you kind of what we did. This is the way we went. All right, so we're on the Build a Bronco website. Uh, we have a first edition reservation, but we can go with something else. Um, so we wanted to have something that was at the other end of the spectrum, a base maybe, or something we can build. We decided that the big bend, after looking at everything, was gonna give us the biggest separation uh, and the best bang for our buck. So we decided to compare the two uh, and see which one's better. We're going to start with the Big Bend. Um, there are a couple of non-negotiables that we had to have. So first of all, Cactus Gray. So Cactus Gray is uh, going to be our color. Uh, we already have a race red Raptor, so we already have uh, that color. Um, we already have a Jeep JK in the rapid red color. It's not, obviously it's not rapid red, but it's the same color. It looks the same. Mandy's Jeep is, or Mandy's Bronco is going to be a um, lighter shade of this kind of velocity blue here. Uh, so that gave us, I uh, think the the gray, the cactus gray would be a good vehicle to add to that fleet. Uh, we wanted to do a hard top. Uh, the other non-negotiable is uh, remote start. We had to have remote start. And then also this headlamp, this signature LED headlamp. It's an $800 upgrade. But when you're when you look at this vehicle, this is what's been showing for the longest time is this signature headlamp. So we had to have that. It's not available on all models, oddly enough. You can't put it as an option on some of them. I think maybe it's the, uh, um, I, I can't remember now, but a, a lot of them did not have this upgrade. You couldn't upgrade it. Um, and then uh, it comes with uh, Onyx black interior. Um, we upgraded to a, not the soft top, but the soft uh, Bimini. We put the Sasquatch package with the 2.7 liter engine in it, uh, which comes with the 10 speed transmission. And then you get down here to the bottom and this total came to, uh, let's see, 52, uh, 52,000, 52,000 almost even. And if you go up here to finance, um, we're gonna finance it, let's say, um, and let's just choose the maximum amount. 5% is kind of high, I think. So I'm going to change that to four because I think a local bank could be four. 
Um, but if you wanted to push this out to 72 months, let's just say that you wanted to do that, um, it'll update that now and then anything else you do will show the newest finance rate on there. Uh, then you go uh, over here and I'll show you the other one. This looks exactly the same, but this is a first edition. Same cactus gray, uh, same upgraded wheel, same Sasquatch package, same roof. Um, it does have the sound deadening, uh, sound deadening headliner. Say that like three times. Comes with the upgraded grill with, uh, uh, with the bull bar on it. Uh, it comes with remote start. It comes with the signature headlamps, which is one of our keys. Um, the black onyx. Now, um, the black onyx is something that uh, is going to be delayed. Um, this is the navy interior with the gray. And uh, we chose to stay with that. And the reason why is because we didn't want to d d delay it any. And I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. So this does not look at all odd to me. I love this color. I think it looks great. Uh, if you look at it in the 360 view, um, or at least if I do, um, I really like the way these look. Plus, they come with a pony interior in it, which the, um, which the a lot of the other versions do not come with. Um, so I'm happy with that. Uh, then we go down, it's got basically checkmarked everything because it's the first edition, so it's got everything in it basically. Um, and then we added a hitch to it as well, and that whole thing came out to $63,100. So it is exactly uh, $11,000 more than uh, the Big Bend with all the extras on it. And if you look at them from the front, um, let me, let me get all the way up here to the top here. If you look at them from the front, they look very similar. Let's get them all the way built out. Yeah. All right. So there is the first edition steel bumpers. Um, it's got the, the, the lit turn signals in the, uh, in the mirrors there. Uh, let's see, it's got the first edition graphics, which really kind of aren't much of anything other than a stripe. Um, and then when you look at it from other views, which I can't remember if you can do or not, um, and then look at it from the other views, another good view on this would be the, hello, there are a lot of people on the site maybe. Uh, let's look at both of these from the back. There's the big bend. It's got the, the standard grill. Does have the upgraded uh, lights. Does not have the turn signals. Does not have the, the upgraded uh, bumpers on it. Um, and then if you look at it from the back, let's go to the back between the two. You'll notice that the first edition has the first edition trim lighting, which is right there, versus uh, the big bend. And then it's also got the color matched uh, handles versus the big bend which has the molded in black so you can also see that there's no rock rails there on the big bend uh, there is here you can upgrade those we just didn't put that in the package um, so if you wanted to trim out your big bend exactly like the first edition um, it would probably bump that up another thousand uh, so let's let's call it ten thousand more um, to us it's it's worth the ten thousand more um, you're looking at at that same price point eight eighty nine uh, versus 725 so it's a little more than $150 a month difference in financing. That's at 72 months. We wouldn't do 72, but if you wanted to stretch it out, uh, it would be about $150 uh, a month. Uh, but it has everything now, and that's going to be our, our drive-around vehicle. We're going to put a lot of miles on it. We're going to do a lot of road trips in it, so all of that extra creature comfort, why not? I mean, we have two old Broncos that are not going to have heated seats and remote start and all that, so it'll be nice to jump in a vehicle every once in a while and go wheeling. Um, with all that extra stuff on it. Plus the goat modes look like they're fun. I'm really excited to try those. So we went to the dealer and we're gonna look at the Cactus Gray. And then we also wanna drive the 2.7 liter EcoBoost since we've never driven that before and just kinda see how much power it has. Um, and, uh, and we had some good results. Let's go check it out. It is still really kind of blue. Look at it, it's got some blue in it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cause it's in the dark. You took it outside. I think you'd probably see it a little more blue than this. So we'll ask them if we, when next time they get one in, to give us a call so we can take a look at it outside. All right, so we're uh, shifted down to, into manual. I'm going to kind of see what this thing has uh, down in uh, the low gear. So I'll start in first and kind of work my way through uh, just to see if I can get some uh, 
some bump out of it. This thing, they uh, the dealer said that this is probably 500 pounds more than the Bronco. Um, so 500 pounds is a lot. Or we'll get a little less boost out of this than we will the Bronco. Yeah. Okay. Driving like that doesn't feel bad at all. Obviously, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no exhaust note on this thing, so the Raptor feels like it's going faster than it really is. I think because of the exhaust note. So this thing sounds like a uh, like a 2006 Chevy Impala. Uh, so hopefully. Uh, we can find an exhaust for it pretty soon. Shifting through the gears uh, feels kind of good. Um, I think it'll be really snappy in that Bronco, uh, even though that first edition is kind of a pig with all the extra electronics in it. Uh, I still think it'll be kind of peppy, uh, but we're looking for it for primarily torque. Uh, I'm not really looking for horsepower in this thing, so. But yeah, I like it, looks good. I think we're gonna stick with that 2.7. I can't imagine what the 2.3 feels like in it. Well, what do you think? First edition. So we decided to go with the first edition. The base uh, was super sexy to us, but looking at it, uh, we would probably end up doing a lot of the same suspension upgrades that came on the Sasquatch package anyway. And then when we started building it to um, the Big Band or even the Black Diamond, we were only about $10,000 apart. So at that point, first edition with all the other stuff of the upgraded interior um, and and the different look to it um, I think it's worth it so at that point that's where we're gonna go um, this as soon as we get it literally the day we get it we're going to take it to our favorite trail uh, right across the road over there on the front range and put it through some paces so uh, I just cannot wait I've already got my calendar marked on uh, the entire month of July which is when I'm assuming hopefully we take uh, ownership of it and uh, we can go and uh, put a scratch on it for the first time on the first day. I'm looking forward to putting that first scratch on this vehicle. Check out our other videos on the purchase uh, of this vehicle and then uh, also subscribe so you can see what happens in the future. We're going to get back on this uh, early Bronco and get it knocked out so that we can uh, drive it to go pick up the new Bronco. That's a wrap for my Point 3 Garage. We'll see you in the next video.